Welcome to the makeup effects department. So if you just come with me, I'll show you the kinds of things we're working on now. Sam here is working on one of our trollocs. We've got a whole range of different designs. We have to first concept art them, get those designs approved. Then we have to turn them into 3D sort of concept sculpts. And then we start producing actual faces and parts. We have to produce horns, so we have tons of different horn shapes. We're trying to design it so that any of these horns will fit any of the different sculpted heads. Things start out as a lump of clay, get molded, end up as a lump of plastic. That then gets molded, and then we end up with a skin of the creature. The horns attaching via very powerful rare earth magnets so that nobody is going to be killed if a trollic horn happens to sort of hit them. It will break away. So we have trollic hair being knotted here, literally a hair at a time into lycra. What we're doing here is we're experimenting with different teeth for trollocs. We taken body moulds of the stunt guys, sculpted all these various heads and muscles and shapes. They've all got to be then turned into a functioning bodysuit. What are those? The Dark One's army. More Trollocs. 300 at least. <laughs> Stay back! <laughs> oh dear, you humans are very excitable. Once we'd nailed down a look, it was then a case of we life cast Hamad, sculpted upper makeup, we put it on him and we test it. Done with the face, neck is. So now I'm going to get my bodysuit on, the costume on, and then get the hair done. This took about three hours, maybe. It takes a while, but it's worth it. I mean, look, it's great. He's not a monster. He's kind. He should come across as that. Once you've had that first moment of going, oh, wow, he's different, you should then forget all that and you should only be invested in his performance. And I'm hoping that that's what we've managed to achieve. <laughs> the fades were really interesting. They're hooded, cloaked figures. They have no eyes. That was the initial brief. OK, they've got mouths full of teeth, rows of teeth and no eyes. And then you start basically throwing out designs. We just did a series of concepts and arrived at a look that actually was pretty cool. We pushed as far as we could go physically and then let visual effects take over. If you're confronted with one of these, you really want to think, no, actually, I'll take the 20 Trollocs rather than deal with that. This show has a lot of dead people in it, so we have to do dummy versions of people. This is a fiberglass mold. We'll fill it with a flexible silicone, and that will give us a corpse, basically. Today we are doing Karen's leg wound. These are just basically silicon intestines. Nick Dogman is a genius. He's like doing 50 jobs at once. I don't know how he does it. This is amazing. There's a tremendous pleasure and excitement in sharing that magic. Everyone's just really good at their job, so I'm just trying to be on their level, you know what I'm saying?